Hi, I'm Joshua Powell and I'm a conservation biologist. We bring you this from the Arctic with WWF's WWF Voices. And we're in Franz Josef Land in the Russian High Arctic on the very foggy Champa Island. And this archipelago is actually the northernmost point of land in Eurasia. It's also one of the National Geographic pristine sea sites, which National Geographic launched in 2013 to highlight the incredible biodiversity of the Arctic region up here. And it was incredibly successful. In 2016, the Russian government expanded the Russian Arctic National Park to include Franz Josef Land. It's now the largest marine protected area in the Arctic region. And it's also the largest protected area in the whole of the Russian Federation. But despite the fact that it's protected, we're finding plastic washed up along the beaches. And this is coming up from further south with the ocean currents. And for a long time, we just thought that this was unsightly. But increasingly, scientific reports have begun to show that this could actually have real conservation consequences. Not just because it could be potentially toxic, but also because smaller pieces of plastic can look like fish in the water. So seabirds go down, scoop them up, and end up feeding them to their chicks, which can lead to direct mortality, or even through a reduced calorie consumption rate. Now, a lot of you have been asking about how cold it is up here. Well, I can tell you at the moment that I'm wearing four pairs of trousers, so it is, it is pretty cold. There is snow on the hills up around, but it's not as cold as a lot of people expect. This is one of the warmer spots of the Arctic. It is affected um, by warm channels coming up from the Gulf Stream further south. Um, so I am, and of course it is summer, so I am actually okay not to wear a hat at the moment, but I'm gonna go and warm up in a second. So that's it for now, but please do check back again using the hashtag WWF Voices for more from the Russian High Arctic.